What's up, everybody? Ido San here. So I told myself, don't be cheap and spend those 60 euros. And I got my winter toy, and I'm so glad. Let's see what it is. Nice. US 65, UK 65, whatever you want to call it. I got the UK version. I like the UK flag best. Not for political reasons, just for graphic design and shit. And let's see what's in the box. So we got an instruction pamphlet, which is pretty clear. And here in particular, you see how to bind in D16 or D8, or D8 your Tyrannis. We got the whoop itself, which is a beauty. It's 65 millimeters. There is already a battery mounted. The camera, brushless, tiny little motors. They're so tiny, but they get you where you want to. <laughs> you feel compared to the brushed uh, motors, the, the, the blades are a little rattling because of the magnets, which is kind of weird of this tiny little quad. 1S battery, as we said, 250 milliamp per hour uh, HV, so high voltage. And the battery charger. So you can charge this battery up to 4.35 volts to give you a little more flight time. Some spare parts. We got prope spare propellers, a little screwdriver, rubber bands for battery hold. Uh, uh, I use the battery holds and I cut off the battery mount. And two more batteries. So you got you got everything you need basically. And three batteries. It's pretty much for having an initial fun. Uh, the quad itself. It's so I I already flew it after this unboxing video and I tell you the 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 frame it's quite fragile it's like glass made it's a pretty bad plastic uh, the canopy is good uh, I give it some hard hard crashes and it lasts it still lasts there we go uh, but the rest of the frame it's pretty bad so that's why I replaced it with a Beta FPV frame. Uh, you can get for less or about around 10 bucks two frames on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description and it's very, very durable. Uh, I'm testing it and I'm still uh, at, the first, um, at, at the first frame, even dropping it for like 20 meters. So first thing first, uh, we're gonna charge the batteries, the stock batteries, because uh, they were in storage mode. And so I'll show you how the battery charger works. You have different options here. You can either fast charge in high voltage to a high voltage charge at 435 or regular charge at 4.2 volts. Uh, these are high voltage batteries so we can charge them at 435 and here's the charge rate so you can read 0 0.2 and 0 0.6 amps you always need 0 0.2 amps you can use 0 0.6 for doing like a 1c charge rate on a 600 milliamps battery which I use for longer range I mean, quote, long range, uh, tiny whoop expedition, uh, which are amazing. Uh, and I use for that, as I said, 600 milliamp per hour uh, batteries. Here's the picture. And you'll find the link in the description as always. All right, now that the batteries are fully charged, um, we're gonna plug the battery in and bind the quad. Uh, so basically I copied on my Tyrannus I copied a, a, an existing model, the, the one of my 5 inch quad. So an activity alarm. Yeah, thank you, madam. Uh, and renamed it UK65 because that's a UK65. And then. An activity alarm. Alright, got it. Uh, then we're gonna go 
before going into binding mode, I'm doing this for the first time with you guys, so be patient. So I unscrewed a little bit and loosen up this this one. There we go. Nice. I think I saw it. Now we're gonna go into binding mode. Yeah, should be automatic. What is flashing? I think is bound. Let's unplug it and replug it. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. There we go. Now, one last thing I wanted to tell you is the, about the power cable. I had to replace it because after a while, I don't know why, but I read around on forums and Facebook pages that it's a pretty common issue. Uh, I don't know if it gets rusted if you fly outdoor or something, but the connection becomes pretty weak. So I replaced it with this one, as you can see in the picture. It's a pretty cheap mod, but it makes the difference. Another tiny little mod I mentioned before, it's um, the battery mod. So I snapped, I snapped the little plastic that hold the original battery so that I can replace the battery with a bigger size one. That's up to you. Now we're gonna connect the quad to beta flight. There we go. And so, we're gonna basically configure the, the switches on, on, the, on the receiver. No dear, that's wrong. So I already, I already set my, my receiver, but basically this is how I set it. I, I got this issue to when it's connected to the beta flight with the battery and either without the battery you start to lose there we go that's what it does hear that that's pretty annoying i don't know why it does that it loses signal pretty often maybe i thought uh, the transmitter was too too close but it does it in either way far or close so what i do it's just Telemetry I just removed the Telemetry SD Telemetry card recovered. with the sounds, so I don't hear the voice. There we go. So it works like with a strong delay, but it works. Okay. Yeah. So what I did, I put the arm switch on aux one doesn't arm now of course because it's plugged in then I got on aux 2 I put angle mode then air mode and FPV angle mix I'm using I'm using the project mockingbird setting now I'll put the link in the description as well and if you want me to to do a video about setting it with the project mockingbird let me know. Then on AUX3 I put uh, flip over after crash which is basically turtle mode which is awesome on a tiny wolf because you crash a lot. This is the, my favorite thing about this quad. Then to make nice videos I put on AUX4 uh, disable OSD switch uh, so basically like this I got all the OSD I need and like this it's just plain clear screen. Oh, another important thing is here. I'm talking about FR Sky setting, of course. So you have FR Sky X and FR Sky D. Uh, D is for D8 protocol, 
and X is for D16. So because I'm using D16, I put X. Oh, OSD. My OSD setting is basically this. I put RSSI, uh, main battery voltage, a little crosshair, a timer, the flight mode. When I do some like gapping proximity, I like to do st stab, like angle mode, uh, and fly it like a proper whoop should be flown. Uh, when I fly outdoors and I have more space and stuff, I like to fly in air mode. Throttle position, that's for... That's, that's because I wonder sometimes when I get a little prop wash or some maneuver. I do some maneuvers I, I want to check when I rewatch the footage. What was my throttle position? Current row, because I want to check how my settings are affecting the ESCs and warnings of course so that's about it for my settings and we're good to go basically um working hit the skies or the apartments or the kitchen table or whatever uh, with this great micro quad um i link in the description the playlist about the uk65 where you can find some flight footage already and please consider subscribing liking this video hitting the bell why not that's free <laughs> so thanks so much for the support guys and the channel is growing and i'm very happy and this is very satisfying i didn't expect this uh, so stay tuned and happy flying